Hey everyone, and welcome to episode 133 of Brew Talk with Mr. Beer. My name is Robert Lewis, and I'll be your host for today's show. As always, we appreciate you guys taking the time to tune in and watch all of our videos. Hopefully you are enjoying them and learning something. Um, yeah, so without further ado, we'll dive into today's topic, which is how to pair beer with food like a pro or like a boss, if you want to uh, phrase it. Either way, um, so this is a written blog post on our website currently. I thought it would be useful content. Um, turn to a video as well. So this is done by Ashley, who is a beer brewing and beer connoisseur expert. So, and she does a lot of our like blog recipes. If you guys like those, um, we have a ton of recipes on our website involving cooking with beer. MrBeer.com slash blog. Or if you go to MrBeer.com, click on the blog button if you don't feel like typing out the slash blog. Um... Yeah, so without further ado, we will dive into basic uh, beer and food pairing suggestions, which I thought would be kind of interesting to do. So we'll kind of start with lighter beers and work our way through the list here. So we'll start with light lagers that typically will go well with uh, spicy food, burgers, salads. Uh, light lagers are usually crisp and kind of refreshing. Um, you know, they're more neutral in flavor. Um, they don't have a lot of hops, don't have a lot of malt. They're just kind of very well balanced, just refreshing. Great beers to drink during summertime. Um, they tend to go really well with uh, savory foods, but they also really well work really well with like spicy foods, uh, grilled foods like chicken, hot dogs, brats, even raw veggies pair well uh, with light lagers. Like I said, usually a great summer brew, golf course beer, lawnmower beers, awesome beers to drink. Uh, go well with a wide variety of things. If you're not sure, go with lager. It's a staple. Uh, wheat beers. So typically wheat beers are a little soft in the palate you get a little light uh grain flavor um but most of the flavor is from the yeast that's where you get some of those kind of estery taste and that kind of banana clove type taste you get that, a lot of that from the yeast not so much the malt um but it goes well with a wide variety of foods so mostly uh spicy foods and kind of free desserts so you know if you're eating a bunch of buffalo chicken wings uh spicy noodles salad fruits pastries Wheat beers go very well with that. I like them a lot with spicy foods. I mean, there's nothing like in a big old basket of wings, like a nice wheat beer. That's just, that's legit. Um, on two IPAs, which are my favorite beer. I mean, I don't think I drink anything else besides IPAs and sours, which we did not do a sour. I don't know what sours would go with. I feel like they would go with much of anything. But anyways, um, IPA. So they're obviously IPAs are hoppy. They're bold. They're strong. They got high ABV. Often, you know, hop bitterness, good hop aroma, it's just the best beers you can drink all the time. Uh, they're they often really paired well with kind of like very rich foods or like fatty foods, uh, you know, and they do well against like uh, barbecue, steak, Mexican food, burritos, fajitas, all stuff like that. I love getting like a burger, or like a steak and a nice IPA, like a burger and IPA and french fries. It's, it's nothing like it. It goes just hand in hand. Perfect food. Um, onto Amber Ales, which is probably the most underlooked beer in the beer society. They're just so like, yeah, yeah. Um, they're usually a little toasty. They got a slightly bready aroma, uh, crisp clean finish. They're kind of like a, like a malty lager. It's the best way to describe an Amber Ale, I would think. Um, so they do well kind of balancing out rich and savory foods without kind of messing up their flavor. So they pair well with like barbecue pulled pork, jerk chicken, pizza, briskets, some of those things. I think they're a good fall beer. A lot of people start before you start, you know, just going from lawnmower beers to stouts. Usually, you maybe sprinkle some amber ales in there to kind of bridge the gap. Uh, dark lagers, they usually have uh, light, caramely sweetness. Uh, they're balanced by darker, roasted flavors. You know, these go well with kind of traditional European dishes uh, sausage, goulash, potato dumplings, bangers, and mash, or pretzels, which is uh, yeah, pretzels and beer is also a very good thing. Uh, they can also go well with like pizza, burgers, stews, stuff like that. Uh, porters. So porters are made with roasted brown malts, which gives the beer uh, very strong notes of chocolate, caramel, and coffee. So similar to brown ales, but much more flavorful, much more forward. You're going to get that from the get-go instead of where brown ales will, or, um, yeah, brown ales will kind of linger. Um, they're typically drier in the finish, but... Uh, not as like creamy and rich as like a stout. So these usually go well with like seafood, coffee flavored desserts. So like lobster, crab, um, barbecue, even like game meats, like venison and stuff like that. They do really well with 
And last but not least, stouts, which we are getting into winter, which is stout season, which everyone looks forward to. Uh, stouts, you know, they're very black, they're very dark in color, uh, very roasted flavor, uh, but also guys are not high in alcohol content. I mean, we like to make big stouts. You know, we like big stouts and we cannot lie, but um, you know, the, the they can have a lot of flavor, but the ABV is a little, usually low. A very strong hints of chocolate, coffee, and they're always just kind of silky, kind of smooth. Uh, some can finish dry, some can finish kind of sweet with some lactose, depending on what you're brewing there. Uh, but they go well with, I think, dessert. I mean, obviously, chocolate, truffles, I mean, just anything after dinner they go really well with. I think they also go well with, like, barbecue and some other stuff like that. It kind of just depends on what you're having, like stew. I like stew and a stout. Um, it's just a lot. It's very heavy, but it's good. Um, yeah, it's going to wrap it up. Kind of a different, interesting episode. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. Uh, um, yeah, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like or a comment or a share. We really appreciate that. Um, want to wish all of our veterans happy Veterans Day. That is tomorrow. Uh, thank you for your service to our country. Uh, we must be really appreciate it. And um, you know, people, you know, have sacrificed a lot so we can do what we do. So we can sell beer and homebrew beer. So we truly appreciate that. Um, if you are an, a veteran and you actively brew with Mister Beer, we do offer a veterans discount on our website. Um, go to MrBeer.com, go to the footer. It's uh, um, 5% always on discount on top of all our sales, everything else that you always get. Um, we also do this for first responders and frontline workers as well. So if you want to take advantage of that, uh, we highly recommend that you do. Just go to our website, go to the footer, fill out the form, and we will get that activated on your account. But yeah, thanks for your service and uh, happy Veterans Day to everyone tomorrow and um i hope you guys all have a great weekend and i'll talk to you next week cheers cheers